Now, we talked a lot about um, the importance of magnesium, but today we're going to talk about when not to take magnesium. The danger of taking too much magnesium is when the body cannot get rid of it. Normally, we have a mechanism in our kidneys that can easily get rid of excess amounts of uh, magnesium, but there are certain conditions where we can't. There's also certain laxatives that you can get that are magnesium-based, which will give you like 5,000 milligrams of magnesium per day. And our bodies really only need less than one-tenth of that. So if we're taking that much, and there's certain organ problems that prevent the elimination of magnesium, then you could be in trouble. Here are just a few symptoms of what could occur if you have too much magnesium. Diarrhea, nausea, abdominal cramping, low blood pressure, depression, lethargy, difficulty breathing, irregular heartbeat, and cardiac arrest. Now let's talk about four situations in which you would not want to take uh, a lot of potassium. Maybe you could take up to 200 milligrams and you wouldn't necessarily have to worry about it from your food, but you wouldn't want to be taking large amounts. Number one, and the big one is kidney disease. If you have chronic kidney disease, that's going to really inhibit your ability to get rid of the excess. Now, if you're a diabetic and you have something called diabetic nephropathy, now that's different than neuropathy, which is a nerve problem. Nephropathy is a kidney problem. All right, next one is if you're on dialysis, okay? And also, if on your urine test you see something that says low GFR, that indicates that your kidney's ability to filter is um, lower than it should be, so you're not gonna get rid of excessive uh, magnesium. All right, next condition is hypothyroidism. In hypothyroidism, everything is slowed down. Okay, and then you have Addison's disease, which is a condition of your adrenal glands, which they're uh, pretty much shot. They're not working, it's a hypoadrenal state. And so again, you're, you're not gonna be able to get rid of excessive magnesium. And lastly, if you're taking certain medications that can inhibit your ability to get rid of magnesium, like Fosamax, that's normally for osteoporosis, certain antibiotics, uh, diuretics, and lithium. All right, thanks for watching, and I put some links down below of additional videos on magnesium that are very important to watch. Before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof your immune system. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today. Hey, before